caliente. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim and I've been receiving a lot of messages on Facebook recently that go something like this. Hey Tim, I'm new to Airsoft and I'm on a budget and I'm not sure if you're the real Red Wolf Tim, but I may as well ask. I want the coolest and cheapest M4 AG out there to get my hands on, so what do you suggest? And I always bring up this product. It is the Ares Amoeba Innovation CG003 AEG. As you can see, I've got the black and DE one here. I've taken it straight out of the box. The tags are still here. Now, I just want to let you know, for the beginners, they probably do not care about materials as they just want to, something in their hands so they can go out and join their friends. But for people who do want to know, from here backwards, everything is made out of plastic apart from the little fiddly bits. And from here onwards, everything is made out of metal apart from the rails and the sights. It weighs 2.6 kilos, which is 5.8 pounds. As a beginner, the weight is completely fine as you may be doing a lot of running around. Lengthwise, it's 76 cm, which is 30 inches. And with the stock extended, it gives it another 3 inches. Amoeba Innovations is the stylish design of Ares, as you can tell by the extendable stock with the QD sling mount on each side, the pistol grip, the PMG mag with the foldable magazine holder, and the upper and lower receiver. It may be made out of plastic, but from afar, it looks like it's made out of metal. It's got a very beautifully shaped free float octagonal handguard with rails on top which you can move around or add more so you can add some accessories to it. It's got two removable flip up front and rear sights, which is hilarious because on the description it says from Toys Industries. The fire selector can be found on the left side. The mag release can only be found on the right side. You can find the adjustable hop up by pulling back the charging handle. The flash hider, it can remove it, revealing a 40mm CCW thread where you can add another flash hider, suppressor or an amplifier. You can pull the lever down at the back of a stock, revealing the storage space and the housing for the battery. For the chrono test, I use 0.2 grams, 6mm BBs. The FPS is a little high for CQB, so I suggest you use this for outdoor skirmishes. If you want something more CQB safe and compact, I suggest you look at the other Amoeba Innovation series, such as the CG002, 001 and the M4 pistols. If you want to switch things up a little bit, the Gearbox uses an electronic firing control system, which means you could use the Amoeba electronic programmer to switch the fire selector to burst fire full auto, semi burst fire, or back to original semi full auto. The trigger response was just as light as the Ares M4 pistol series we reviewed a couple of weeks ago. It comes with a 300 round high cap magazine, and this is what it sounds like in full auto. If you listen closely, you can hear the MOSFET working. This is the Smart Firing Control Unit. It can only use NIM batteries, 2-cell LiPo or 3-cell, but for the demonstration I'll be using a 7.4 LiPo 2-cell battery so I can switch it to that. It doesn't work on any battery, it actually works on the battery you plug it into. You can either fire it in safe semi-auto, safe semi 3 round burst, safe 3 round burst auto, or safe semi-semi, but for the demonstration I'll be switching it to 3 round burst full auto. It's obvious that it's in semi and full auto at the moment, as I'll demonstrate. In full auto. Just remove these two parts, and I'll switch it to three round burst and full auto. You just need to remove these parts, plug this end to the AEG, and plug the battery on the other side, and it'll start to work. So we're going to switch it to three round burst and auto, and when you're ready, press enter. And on the final beep, you can remove it, put it back together. We have the three round burst and full auto. It's really that simple. For the accuracy test, I was trying to hit a 10 cent coin, which is a little less than 2 cm apart. I'm using 0.25 gram BBs instead of 0.2s with the target about 20 meters away. I managed to hit it on the 8th shot, which is not amazing, but it's still great for something so cheap.
What I don't like about it is that the receiver is made out of plastic and the front and rear sights are kind of useless. So if you do get one of these for yourself, you may want to switch them out. Apart from that, I think this is the best quality, best looking M4 AEG you can get out there for the cheapest price. And I know for a fact that there are a few more experienced players that may disagree with me. So if you guys could write in the comments section below on what you think is the cheapest and best quality M4 AEG out there for the newbies, that would be great. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. If you haven't watched some of our previous videos, I suggest you take a look at these. Do subscribe to our channel and keep up to date with our newest and coolest videos.